She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go. I'm at least 7 gallons, Freddy. Six and a half minimum. That's right, folks. It's Freddy Fish, case of the Hog Rustlers of Briny Gulch. So, our objective is to infiltrate, well, actually enter Briny Gulch and meet up with Freddy's present cup. There's Cousin Calico's ranch! We're gonna be ranchers soon! Hopefully, but it looks like a fish. Let's go and invest. Hi, Cousin Calico. Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. All right, so it's Cousin Calico's hogfish have been taken without permission. That's not good, people. We need to find those thieves. And look! Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! What a ripping. We're rich! Yep. Here we are in Briny Gulch. This must be the town square. Let's go ask some of the people who live here if they know anything about those rustlers. Speak with Nelson Porter. Yes, that is his Customers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. Got a lot of guilty folk in here. Hi, I'm Freddy, and this is my pal Luther. Well, hello, Eight Fingered Phil, Doctor Piano Ology, at your service. We're looking for some hogfish rustlers. Have you seen anything suspicious? Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. Howdy, youngsters. I'm Saltwater Stella, owner and operator of the Soda Loon. 
What can I do for you? We uh, wanted to ask you if you've seen any rustlers around here lately. Rustlers? Well, there were a couple of suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy. Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. And there's the clue. Look, Freddy, maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Eight, six, seven. I'll bet the Rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. Okay, eight, six, seven. Let's go. Uh oh. What the? Yeah. Hi. It's me. Listen. I want to talk to you about that note. Anyways, let's head And there it is. Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. Now the combination. Eight, six, seven. It shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. Nine. Nine. Eight. Seven, nine, eight, eight, six, seven. <laughs> we did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Thornet, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Uh oh. Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again! Oh, God. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. That must be one of the rustlers! <laughs> I hear the hogfish in there. Let's go, Luther. Let's... Yeah, let's be with <laughs> It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a wrestler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine, a belt buckle like mine, and a fashionable bandana. All wrestlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest wrestler gear. You can see from this picture in Wrestlemania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10-gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bandana. Hey. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers, since you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Okay. Let's eat the note first. Hey, Freddy, can we eat this note now like it says? Well, I guess we won't need the combination anymore. Yep. Well? I can see why the wrestlers didn't eat it. It tasted like paper. Ready told Luther. What the? All right, you hog 
fish. Quiet down or else. Or else I'm calling Mr. Big. <gasps> oh. Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. Yeah. Find out soon. Press on. And here are these gentlemen over here. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about seven feet by seven feet ought to do it. Seven feet by seven feet. Hmm. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Let's use, so they say, seven feet by seven It says, seven feet by seven feet. Okay, let's take that board. This should be useful. Oh boy, I hope those edges are sanded. They are. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. What the? Sign it, you know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Yes, sir. Who in the Oh. <clears throat> oh hi, kids. Hello. It's a Harris Slip. My name's Freddie Fish, and this is my best. Pal Luther. Howdy, kids. Folks call me Sahara Swim. We're helping my cousin Calico. Her hogfish were taken by some rustlers. Rustlers, eh? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I've known a few wrestlers in my day, but no rustlers to speak of. Gentlemen. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Come on. Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks! Thank you very much. You remember that great Brazilian sea nut coffee we had while we were building that stage last year? Oh yeah, that was some really good coffee. I made it, I think. Says you. You remember the monkfish java we had while we were working on the kelp seed silo? Yeah, excellent coffee. Say, didn't that building end up round too? I think you're right. Bill Parker. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Bill Parker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. 
My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. We'd like to buy your pack of bubblegum, please. Excellent. Excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's a purple sea urchin for you. Thank you very much, young lady. Which of my two fine products are you interested in today? The delicious bubblegum or the very useful wheel nuts? Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid! Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Okay. <coughs> oh well. This is a 10-gallon hat. Let's step up. Oh. Maneuver jellyfish. Yes! We made it! I knew we could do it! Yes indeed, Luther. Yes indeed. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin! We're rich! It's a crank handle. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. See if it's useful. And by the way, it's the crank handle PJ Sam used for adventures worldwide weather. And look. What the heck is that? I'll bet that anchor is almost as heavy as my Uncle Blubber! And he's a whale! Look, it's a suitcase! <laughs> Phew! It's no use! It won't budge! This buoy looks a little tired! It's barely floating! Buds! Floating, so gotta get a move on. Oh boy, a real ten gallon hat. Who's up? Thief! Gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't know there was anyone under there. You could have knocked on a hat. Excuse me, uh, Mr... Shrimp's the name. Used to be Sheriff Shrimp, but now I guess it's just plain shrimp. What happened to the sheriff part? They took my silver star. You can't be a sheriff without a silver star. Folks won't respect you. Maybe we could help you get your star back. Yeah! I'll tell you what, this county would owe you a great service if you did. Okay. Well... I gotta get a fine Find Sheriff Shrimp. He's off here. Maybe Silver's the part to be intact. Delivery. 
Alright, we need to get ourselves that quick star. Trim will be in turn once again. Oh boy! I see another purple sea urchin! Looks like somebody might be hungry. to keep that shark busy for a while. Yeah! Actually, he looks very happy. Huh. We enter a cave with stars. Let's take this star. I like this silver starfish. Let's take it with us. It's just like the one the sheriff was talking about. Yes, indeed. All right. I. One more series. Let's head down this way. And there's a sunken tank can. I know that handle belongs somewhere. Yes, indeed, Freddy. Let's keep it. <laughs> Here, let me help. No. Luther, why is the room spinning? <laughs> it's not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. Yeah, don't get dizzy next time, Luther. Hey, look! This place is filled with water now! Yay! Let's into that ship. Let's go to this doorway. And there's another sea urchin up Hey Luther, what's round and purple and pokey? It, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Sure you weren't, Luther. Anyway, let's use the screwdriver on that Oh, sure. Now you tell me. 
loser, loser, loser. Why don't you turn? Uh oh. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Fuck this joke, cake, Murray. Here, try it. You don't eat it. But it's chocolate. <laughs> Anyway, let's head. Boy, Rustlers are here. There's the shark, and he's busily chewing up. It looks like the wheel on this wagon has fallen off. Maybe we can fix it. Okay. Uh-oh. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. Let's talk to the fella. Hi! I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best buddy, Luther. Hello, I'm you. That's silly. You're not Freddy. No, you like the letter U. Just you? Is it short for something? Yes, it's short for Uriah, Jedediah, Euripides, Algernon, Fortescue, Forsyth, and... Um, oh, now what was the rest of it? Um, we'll just call you you. Most folks do. Is this your seahorse? Yep, his name's Elmer. Hi, Elmer! Well, now. But Elmer are. We gotta make sure they serious house, so. Now we should head back to Bill Barker's house. Hex Donald. And what the heck is this? Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. Yeah, Gil. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a Fickle Fit Wheel Nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Yes, indeed. Here's another purple surgeon towards our wheel nut. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple surgeon before the fabulous Fickle Fit Wheel Nut is all yours. All right. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Yep. Oh boy, oh boy. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. Yes, indeed, Phil. Let's hexagon them. This one looks good. 
Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another wheel nut? We don't need another wheel nut. Get going. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in? Uh oh. You got the twenty clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple searsons. Shady shit. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry, I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? Well, all I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> what a rough and tough crowd. Here, I believe this is yours. <laughs> My starfish! Yahoo! Get the kale! I can't thank you all enough. Anything you need, you just ask. How about that nifty ten-gallon hat? Sure, I won't be needing that old thing anymore. Now, if you'll excuse me, there are laws to be enforced. Rustlers to be found, Sheriff Shrimp is back in town. But we know where the rustlers are. You there, that's a loading zone. Hmm. Looks like it's still up to us to catch those rustlers and rescue the hogfish. Let's ride, yeah. Oh boy, a 10 gallon hat. This is great. How do I look? Like you need a smaller hat. Yeah, maybe you're right. Darn Tinky, she's right, Luther. What? All right, you hogfish, pay attention. to a lot of trouble and expense to hire these sheep head to jump over this fence for you. So count them and go to sleep. Please. Please just go to sleep. Please. I don't think I need that right now. Oh yeah, no do, Freddy. Let's use that pump on the buoy. That's not gonna do me any good. Hey, I've got an idea. <laughs> Up it goes. Be free, little buoy. Is it coming back down? I don't think so, Luther. Oh, bye-bye, buoy. Okay. Look, Luther. This suitcase had a three-ton anchor on top of it, and it's not even scratched. Wow! I think so. I don't
We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. Yep. What's he got against glue? Uh-oh. <laughs> At last. All oh, right, Mr. Tippins. Mail door has been added. Mr. Tippet, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Yes, sir, Mr. Tippet. Thank you. Here you are, Sahara Slim. Here, this suitcase looks a lot sturdier than that bandana. wits end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Oh. This is Mr. Big fellow. Whoever he is, he's not a friend. That's not gonna do me any good. That's not gonna... Here, can you make us a belt buckle with this on it? <gasps> sure, just bring me a rounded piece of metal to use as the back part and I'll get to work. Yes, sir, Mr. Nelson. Here, this is for the belt buckle. Okay, stand back! Here we go. Yikes! Oh, relax, sir. Okay. And... Voila! My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Okay. Here you go. Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso. Please, call me Nelson. <laughs> For Ruby and Mr. Murray. 
All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah, but I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio. Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend, Luther. Orchid Squid, of the Santa Clara Squids, and these would be Perry and Ace. Okay. Let's get a gallon of ink. Here we go. There, that's much better. Now we'll have our purple ten gallon. Got the page. I really like those hats. We've got all of those things. Yes, indeed. Now it's finished. Did you try singing this little piggy? Like I said? Well, try it. Listen, I gotta go. Customers. Boy, the water sure is warm today, isn't it? It's gonna be hot water for those wrestlers when we catch up to them. <laughs> What can I do for you kids? One pumpkin soda, please. You bet. For you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! Yes! Okay. Oh, mouse. This should make my disguise even better. It does! I think it's a buckle. There, those rustlers won't be able to tell me apart from the real thing. It's a great outfit. Let's go. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. And howdy. Howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um. Yep. Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. Yep. Insert. 
the wrestlers cut. We did it! Shh! Quiet, Luther! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Uh-oh! Ah! Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Oh boy. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! Uh. What do we do now? Uh. It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. Hey, it looks like there might be a way out under all these cannonballs. Uh. Phew! These are heavy! chewed bubble gum. One of the rustlers brought a whole bunch of it for us. I think he thought it was a normal part of our diet. Hmm, that's very interesting. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. Careful, Freddy. I guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. Did you hear something? Like a creaking noise? I think it came from out there. Yes indeed, friend. And look, the water has moved. So we can claim the hook for Look at this neat hook! Do you think maybe it belonged to a pirate? <laughs> I don't know, but I bet it will come in handy. Here, why don't you hang on to it? Okay. Thanks, Booster. Pal, need to be present back. 